This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Rielle Creighton. The candlelight vigil was held for an eight-year-old boy who plunged to his death from a condo in Aventura. Several people wore white and lit candles to honor Justin Fernandez. His family says he wanted to be like Spider-Man when he jumped from the 12th floor of the Echo Building. Investigators say he and his brother were playing hide-and-seek when he tried jumping on what he thought was a trampoline. He told his brother that we're going to jump. It's going to be fine because we're going to bounce and we're going to get on the grass. Justin was visiting his mother from Aruba. The family was planning a trip to Disney World. Well, good news for Miami Heat fans. Dwayne Wade has agreed to one last dance with the Heat. Wade kept everybody in suspense for the whole summer. Heat coach Eric Spolstra reportedly helped convince him last week to put off retirement for a while longer. Wade broke the news last night in an online video. He'll play his 16th NBA season and close out a Hall of Fame career with a franchise that he has made his own. Wade is the Heat's all-time leading scorer and has played more games than anybody else in the Heat uniform. Two years ago, he left for Chicago and then Cleveland before being traded back here in February and helping the Heat make the playoffs. Now Wade says this this upcoming season will be his swan song. I'm giving this game everything that I have, and I'm happy about that. And I'm going to give it for one last season, everything else I have left. Let's enjoy it. Let's have some joy through this last season. Let's push this young team over the hump, and let's write our own story to the end of this career together. In New York, the Dolphins show that Sam Darnold is not another Joe Namath just yet. They pick off the rookie twice. T.J. McDonald's first quarter interception sets the tone. Both interceptions would lead to Dolphins touchdowns. Ryan Tannehill throws a pair of TDs. This 19-yarder goes to the speedy Albert Wilson. The Finns' defense dominates early. Robert Quinn gets the first of their three sacks. Dolphins build a 20-0 halftime lead. They hit a second half low before putting the game on ice. Frank Gore makes NFL history. On this run, he moves into fourth place on the NFL's all-time rushing list. Dolphins win 20-12 and are off to a 2-0 start. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good morning. As we look from our broad camera in Fort Lauderdale, it is a nice start out there with a mix of sun and clouds, albeit very warm and steamy with low to mid 80s in Miami, Fort Lauderdale. And Key West, when you factor in the high humidity, it already feels like the 90s. And we've had some showers earlier in spots, still dealing with some rain throughout parts of the Keys and the wind out of the east, anywhere from three to nine miles an hour could carry in some moisture in the form of some passing showers, especially this morning. In the meantime, tropical Depression Florence moving north northeast is still bringing heavy rain, unfortunately, to parts of North Carolina where they are dealing with catastrophic flooding. Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, all the rain will continue to spread towards the mid Atlantic states and the northeast. The remnants of Isaac, this moisture is still brewing and just lurking here down in the Caribbean. And the Hurricane Center says this has a 20% chance of cyclone development as it moves west northwest, likely either near Cuba or the Yucatan and eventually the Gulf. In the meantime, look at how quiet it is for much of the Eastern Atlantic, except for a tropical depression. Uh Joyce, which is not a threat to land, it is going to begin to move towards the southwest. Sorry, there are so many systems you're tracking the tropics that I was trying to remember uh, which name. But thankfully for now, uh, we are only watching that depression. And then, of course, unfortunately, tropical depression, Florence, which is going to impact uh, so much of the east coast. For us, though, we are seeing highs in the low 90s today. It's going to feel like the hundreds. Spotty storms, passing storms tomorrow. Slightly better chance of rain for your Wednesday into your Thursday. Real. All right, Lisa, that's the new for now, you can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.